on our hand this week, partner opens won no trump. And as we're interested in both majors, we actually bid two clubs. When partner goes two diamonds, we can rebid three spades to show we've got longer spades and a game going hand. So this is what you do against a partner who is playing 15 to 17. You want to be in a game going hand if partner's got the right cards. The opponents lead a trump, which is not great news. And you win the first trick with the nine of spades and you take stock. Presumably, when the opponents get in, all they're going to do is keep firing trumps at you, and then you've got to guess the club's right. But what happens if you can trump enough hearts in the dummy that they can't over-trump you? You can make five trumps from the long hand. Two roughs in the dummy is seven. Presuming the ace of heart finesse working at seven to two is nine, and the ace of clubs is ten. So we're going to do what most people like to do. We're going to play this hand on cross rough lines. So after winning the first trick cheaply with the nine of spades, we're now going to take the heart finesse. And the good news is it works. We now play the ace of hearts and start the cross roughing by trumping a diamond. Make sure when you do a cross rough cash the outside high cards before they get a chance to throw them away. We go over to the table with another diamond and we trump in. And now we just cross rough the rest of the hand and bring home our contract. And we will eventually make another spade and we'll concede the last two tricks. We eventually made five spades from the long hand, two hearts, ace, queen, six, seven, ace, clubs, a, eight, and two heart rubs, nine, ten in the dummy. And now I need to come clean. When I played this hand, I was going to play on those lines, but I was quite stupid. On the first trick when a spade was led, I was careless and put the king on the opponent's eight. And at the 11th hour, I got over-trumped with West 10 because he was able to over-trump me with the diamond and I went one off. So don't be careless. Make sure you win the first trick with the nine and then you can make your contract. It takes the best players in the world to make silly mistakes.